to their lives. Please welcome your host, Cat Daly. in their eyes, bringing you another fantastic collection of musical icons from all over the world. And tonight, the last 70 years of pop. So whether you started listening to music on the gramophone, the home stereo, or the MP3, we've got something for you. Here's Sound of Light Voice, number one. Hi, I'm Gemma Nelson. I'm 22 years old, and I live here in Horsham in West Sussex. When I was a little girl, I used to go to... Um, ballet and tap and that but I stopped that as I got older and then realized I liked singing again when I was about 14. For a living I'm a mobile hairdresser I specialize in doing hair extensions most of the clients say they can't believe how natural it looks when they're done and they are pleased with the result. I like to go out with my mates and go out and have a laugh drink with the girls and the lads and we go to karaoke and get up and have a sing song and they often say come on Gem do us a song and we just all chill out and have a good time really. I am terrible for shopping, well most women are aren't they, but I absolutely love shopping, I'm so bad. I've got three wardrobes for my clothes, and shoes as well, I suppose that's a bad thing for me. I've got 54 pairs of shoes now, but these are my favourites. What I'm most looking forward to about being on Stars in the Eyes is just getting out there and performing and just hearing the audience's reaction really and walking through them doors is just going to be an amazing feeling you watch others on telly doing it and you think i wonder if that'll ever happen to me and now the chance has come i just can't wait for that yes it really is finally happening for jim and elton <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, you have met the person that you're going to be, haven't you? Yeah. How did you meet her? I met her at a concert of hers. Yeah. I had front row tickets. Um, holding up my banner, yeah. as I do. Yeah. And then she finally says, um, I'm going to get this girl on stage and see what she wants. And I said, could I please have a photo with you? And she did. And I was amazed. So you went on stage. Where was this? Sheffield Arena. On this big arena? Really big arena, millions of people, and she said, I'm just going to get this young lady up and see what she's got to say. And see. up you got, and yeah. had your picture taken. And mm. Was she a nice lady? Oh, she's wonderful. So stunning and lovely person as well. Okay, well, give us a few clues as to the person you're going to be. Okay, Kat. Well, she was born as Eileen Edwards in 1965 in Windsor, Canada. Um, her self-penned album, Come On Over, it sold over 30 million copies worldwide. And she also had hits with that, Don't Impress Me Much, Man I Feel Like a Woman, Don't Be Stupid, and also the song I'm going to sing tonight. Okay, I think that kind of gives it away, <laughs> but come on, tell us anyway, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Shania Twain. Shania Twain, give us a kiss. Good luck, enjoy it, nine years, enjoy. <laughs> Singing, I'm going to get you good, live, Gemma Nelson is Shania Twain. Let's go. Don't want you for a weekend. Don't want you for a night. I'm only interested if I can have you for life. Yeah. I know I sound serious. I'm baby. I'm
lady. Hello. So how was it? Brilliant. Absolutely loved it. We have to talk about the hair too, because this has been a bit of a bustling holiday for you. Because it's extensions, isn't it? It's extensions. <laughs> Did we do a good job? Oh yeah, it's fabulous. Would we match up to your own work? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're absolutely wonderful. And of course, I've got to ask the girl who's got three wardrobes. <laughs> do, are we digging the outfits? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love this outfit. We'd have gorgeous. space in your one of your three wardrobes. Oh, I make space. You <laughs> <laughs> make space. Ladies and gentlemen, Gemma Nelson as Shania Twain. <laughs> across the Atlantic for some of the very best music the UK and America have to offer. But we're not just travelling miles, we're travelling years to hit 1930s Britain and meet a star you granny loved. See you soon. And why are we on this road? We like planes and we go to airfields to look at them. And the spoilers. What's this? It's just a couple of numbers. Mark Benton. We are starting you. With what? Spain. Today is supposed to be the first day of my honeymoon. And Leslie Sharp. Plane spotting, a drama based on real events, Sunday at 9 on ITV1. First time ever. All four English clubs have made it through to the knockout phase of this year's Champions League. Now I promised you stars from 70 years of music and so we've got a real golden oldie on the way. He's from the days before sampling, scratching, remixing and mashing. In fact, all this guy needed was four strings and a cheeky grin, just like star voice number two. My name is Steve Duncan, I'm 32, and I live here in Paynton in Devon. It is lovely living in Devon. It's nice to be able to have the choice to go down to the seaside and take your kids out. And what a lovely way to grow up. Fantastic. This is my wife, Catherine. We've, uh, we've been together nine years. Actually got less for armed robbery, probably. But <laughs> What's it like living with me? Am I a nightmare? You are a nightmare. You're a complete nightmare. Because I can't ever take you seriously. I don't think people could guess in a million years who you're going to be. Because you're nothing like the person you... you... I hope not he's dead. <laughs> this is Bethany, who's six. And this is Harriet, that's three. And you're going to be a star as well, aren't you, Bethany? Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a pop star. A pop star. I don't know how I'm going to feel on the night of the show. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty scary to look in the mirror and see yourself as somebody else. Uh, especially this particular person, because I'm not exactly saying he's handsome, uh, but I think he did fall out the ugly tree and hit a few branches on the way. <laughs> so, we're not expecting Elvis then from Steve Duncan. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, now, we saw you there with your two kids, who are gorgeous, by the way. Of course. What are their names and how old are they? It's Bethany and Harriet. Bethany, the oldest, is uh, six and Harriet's four. Okay. So, I'm guessing that when they said, when you said to them that you were going to be on Stars in Our Eyes in front of millions of people, going to be famous on the telly, I'm guessing they would be incredibly impressed. Well, you would hope so, wouldn't you? But I went upstairs <laughs> and I said, Daddy's going to be on television. And they said, what now? I said, no, not right this second. So a little bit of an anti climax really, to be honest. Weren't impressed at all. Water no, the ducks really. back to them. Okay, come on, give me your clues as to who you're gonna be for us. Well, this particular gentleman was born in Wigan in 1904. His name was George Hoy Booth. And he was an apprentice jockey before he was an entertainer. And he was the most popular entertainer in Britain during the Second World War. And very famous for playing the ukulele banjo. So come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Oh, tonight, Kat, you're going to be George Formby. You certainly are. <laughs> Give us a kiss. On you go. Good luck. Bye. <laughs>
singing when I'm cleaning windows live, Steve Duncan, is George Bombay. Your wife laughed so much as she came through those doors. Did she? she I can't really, even see her. Where is she? She really, she's up there, look. Oh, there we are, she hello. Re she really, really, really giggled. I'm not surprised, though. You do look very different. Well, she's never seen you with a straight hairline for a start. <laughs> <laughs> now, did anyone guess that you were going to be at all? No, I had a few different kind of suggestions. Uh, the main one was kind of David Bowie. I don't know why. Right, okay. Gosh, but, you couldn't be more... Well, good. he couldn't do George Formby, could he? No. When I'm cleaning windows... But you do do a good George Formby doing the darkness. I do, you? yeah, yeah. Do you want that? Shall we hear a bit of George Formby doing the darkness? Come on, then. Have a go. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm in my heart. I believe in a thing called love. Keep rocking till the sun goes down. <laughs> That's the home of our next global star, and it couldn't be more different for George and his ukulele. Bang up to date, his sound alike voice number three. Hi, my name's Laura Critchley. I'm 20 years old, and I live here in Little Sutton in Cheshire. If I had to describe myself in three words, I'd say I was passionate, positive, and determined. 
This is the three stags and this is my local. And these are all my friends. Yay! We've all seen her perform loads of times and she's just amazing. Like, it's always like a nice surprise to see her thing. We never get bored of it. I never thought that I'd actually get on the show. I, I didn't think I had a strong enough voice, really, but as you could imagine, I was chuffed when they said I was on the show. It really made us. Another one of my hobbies is painting. This is one of me I did at school. This is my scrapbook. I keep everything in here to do with singing. Um, hopefully, Stars from Rise is going to fill it up right to the end. I like to customise my own T-shirts. My friends like me to customise theirs too. <laughs> my ultimate ambition is to become a singer, to write my own stuff like I am doing now. Um, to hopefully just get picked up and get that lucky break. Well, could this be that break for Laura Critchley? Yeah. Yeah, fine, really excited. <laughs> now, I know that it's a big deal for you to appear on Stars, and I know that you're very excited, and you have a scrapbook, like we saw in your tape there, yeah, yeah. of everything that you've done throughout your life, so you yeah. don't forget anything. I keep everything in yeah. it, yeah. And you've got a few pages spare for Stars, Oh, you? yeah, they're fully lined. Good. <laughs> well, we thought that we'd give you something extra special for your Aww. scrapbook, so just wait there. Okay. Oh, it's so nice, Kat. What's inside it? Okay, this is a very, very special present. Nobody else has ever, ever had this before. So this <laughs> is for you. Oh my God. It's the smoke from behind your door. <laughs> oh my God. I just don't know quite how you're going to stick it in, but it will be fabulous. So I'll just put that I'm on sure the side. I'll, <laughs> I'll put that on the side for you. <laughs> thank you. And you can have that later. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's just clear the air. So, come on, give us your clues. Well, Kat, she was born in 1980 in Texas. Mm -hmm. She was the star of the US reality TV show, and it seems as though her sister's following in her footsteps. She's had hits with Irresistible, I Think I'm In Love With You, and I Wanna Love You Forever. Okay, so come on, tell us, who are you gonna be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm gonna be Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson! <laughs> what out for that tonight. <laughs> Good luck. Singing with you live, Laura Critchley is Jessica Simpson.
Lady, your oh. own wind machine and everything. Oh, I know. I'm famous, I <laughs> like it. You look gorge, too. Thank you. You came out of there supremely confident. Did you have any concerns at all? Um, I was really nervous, but I really enjoyed that. I really want to do it again. It's brilliant. Did you? You, yeah. got, you got a big buzz from yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. And what was the best bit for you? Oh, I get performing just then. Was definitely. It? It, it, it's just worth it at the end. All this hard work is definitely worth it. Okay, it's good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Critchley as Jessica Simpson. <laughs> walking through these iconic doors then call 090 11 100 300 or look at teletext page 138 for all the details calls cost 25p a little more from a mobile and please ask the bill payers permission who would you be have a think and we'll see you soon <laughs> just the patients that need a little TLC. She just slammed me. Oh, is there anything else? Sometimes it's the staff that need looking out for. It's going to rip her off. You can tell by the hair. A dose of drama. I can't take much more of this. Helps the medicine go down. I think I'd best leave this to you. Oh, action stations then. The Royal, Sunday at 8 on ITV1. When it comes to shifting the pounds... I think we'll be great together. How much are you coming on to me, Matt? There's nothing to get you working out harder... Not on your own, Kelly. Don't think like that. ...than a bit of encouragement from your fitness instructor. Six pounds off. The new series. They might ache a bit tonight, but it's nothing that a good rubdown will sort out. Oh, is that enough, sir? Kay Mellor's Fat Friends, Thursday at 9, ITV1. At the end of the show, we go behind the scenes to see the stars in their eyes auditions. And our next big star knows how nerve-wracking telly tryouts can be. He shares all that with his alter ego, new voice number four. Hi, I'm Paul Duckworth, and I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Leyland. This is our house, and this is my family. Hi! I live at home with my mum, dad, sister and brother. Everybody gets down, we're all pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do full time, I work for my dad. We cover a wide range of things like plumbing, plastering and electrics. Paul's okay to work uh, once uh, he got out of bed, he got to work about lunchtime. We'll get a good day's work out of him. On my nights out, this is where we come, have a chat, play a few games of pool, and then maybe move around Preston later. <laughs> Ever since I've known Paul, he's been totally obsessed with his singing, especially with the artists that he's going to be performing. I had the application form for quite a, quite a long time, and the girlfriend kept saying to me, oh, send it off, send it off. I pushed him and told him to get the form posted, and I'm glad he did, because I'm proud that he's going to be on the show. I was, I was shocked to find out when he was, when he was actually going to be on the telly. It was uh, really surreal. The person I'm going to be tonight is my idol, and one of my ambitions would be to sing with him. Good luck, Paul! About to become that idol, here's Paul Duckworth! Evening, sir. Evening. How are you? I'm 
Good. Now, you have got friends and family in from near and wide to support you tonight, haven't you? Yep, one of my grands has come all the way from Ireland. She's 70 odd and she's flown on this aeroplane just to see you be here tonight. Yep. And <laughs> do, have you got anybody keeping an eye on them? Uh, I've got my girlfriend and my best mate keeping my eye on the two grands. Why? just in case they press the wrong button, because there is an idol that they, they might like. <laughs> might like a bit more than yours? A bit more than me, yeah. So you've got somebody watching at all times? I have, yeah. Good. So come on, give us a clue as to the person you're going to be. Well, Cap, he was born on the 20th of January, 1979, in Berkshire, England. Mm -hmm. He was also crowned the winner of Pop Idol 2002, and his first single, Evergreen, broke records as the biggest selling debut single on its first day. Okay, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Will Young. Will Young! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy it. Singing Light My Fire live, Paul Duckworth is Will Young! mannerisms that you've got you you actually talk a little bit like him as well it's really <laughs> odd you kind of really do so what were the mannerisms that you had to pick up to kind of be him <laughs> the hand knees men. And, yep. and what was the knee the bend, the, the, bend the, knees. the knee bend and the slight look away oh yeah i'm looking at you and there is look away <laughs> and an enticing manner look away Thank you. And the Nans have come over. Yep. Nans, are you here? Did you yep. make it? Yes. Hello, Nans. It's button four, by the way. <laughs> button four, you've got to press at the end of the show. There you go. Made sure for you. Made sure. Now, you said to me, you said, I don't get nervous. No. Nope. I'm fine. So, were there any nerves at all? No, I was just really excited. That was all? Jumping up and down behind the doors, waiting to come out. <laughs> Woohoo! I mean, it took you ages to apply, didn't it? Didn't someone else apply for you? And uh, no, it took me a while. I had the application form and I didn't apply for quite a while. Why? Uh, my girlfriend kept telling me to apply and my mum right. and dad and that, so I did in the end and 
Luckily, I got on in a couple of months. And here you are. Yeah. Knee bends. Yep. Arm movements. <laughs> and look away. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Duckworth as Will Young. Well done. Diva, so let's go full circle and finish with another. I tell you, back there, it's jam-packed with entourages, personal chefs, trainers, champagnes, lilies and candles, but enough about my dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Let's meet star double number five. <laughs> Hi, my name's Claude Hopkins. I'm 33 years old and I live here in Oakham in Rutland. Cheers. These are my friends, Mike and Marva. Been best friends with Marva for 22 years. And not forgetting beautiful godson, Mason. Say hi, Mason. Say hi. These are my fish. I've had them for a few years. I'd like to come in here and sit and watch them when I'm really stressed. They calm me down. That's our newest member, Beyonce, because it likes to shake his booty all the time around the tank every day. Hi, give me five. On the side. Up above. Down below, too slow. <laughs> I've been driving everybody absolutely mad. I sing when I walk to work. I sing on the way back from work. I sing in the shower. Yeah, I've probably done my boyfriend's head in, but um, he's been really supportive. This is my boyfriend, Ben. We've been together two and a half years, and we first met in a restaurant in London. Yeah, when I first met her, should I tell her I saw a spot down a cleavage? Yeah, I had it down my cleavage because my friend said it would balance everything out. One thing we love to do is ride the bike when it's a nice, bright, sunny day. We love to zoom down the countryside and have a really good day, don't we, babes? Yeah. I've watched Eyes in Your Eyes ever since I was young, and I've always wondered what it would feel like to walk through the doors and have that feeling of the smoke and everyone watching. So I can't actually believe it's a bit surreal now that I'm actually going to do it myself. That surreal smoke awaits for Claude Hopkins! <laughs> <laughs> no one will be able to understand this one. <laughs> no, you're actually doing a bit of a duet tonight, aren't you? I am, Kat, yes. I am, I'm pregnant. Ben and I are expecting our first child. Oh, yeah. How exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, tell me about when you first realised you could sing. Well, when we was all young, there was five kids in the house, and um, we used to have to clock 50 pence in the meter to keep the electric on. And, more often than that, sometimes you go out, and then um, we just think, well, what can we do? We're bored, we can't see. I know, we'll sing. So all five of us sang songs all night, and we loved it, we loved it when the 50 p's ran out. But, it, sang all night. but it must have been terrible. All <laughs> you kids sat there in that house. <laughs> Please. Right. Um, she was born in August 1963 in Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. She started her career as a model and a gospel singer before becoming a backing vocalist for Shaka Khan. And her hits include I Wanna Dance With Somebody, Saving All My Love For You, and the song I'm going to sing tonight. So come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston! Both of you. Good luck! <laughs> Singing I Have Nothing live, Lord Hopkins is Whitney Houston. Take me home. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, any movements, any dance steps, any good vibes coming from the tummy mm, region? A bit of ding dong on the old top knot up there. Is ding dong a good yeah. thing or a bad thing? I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. And we have to talk about this costume as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. My lady. Yeah. <laughs> it's a proper yeah. ludicrous costume. I feel, I feel really glam in it, yeah. And didn't you have to be measured and they had to predict how yeah. big you were going to get? Yeah, they, they got it pretty spot on. And yeah. I got some space as well for a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go and treat yourself, Claude. Up you go. Have a nice bit of sour cream as well. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Claude Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> We've now heard all five stars and very soon, thanks to our audience, one will be coming back through my glamorous cat flap as a finalist. But then, of course, you can pick up the phone and call for your favourite runner-up. Who gets your vote? Find out who gets theirs in just a moment. <laughs> Tonight on Parkinson. And the king of cool, Samuel L. Jackson. Common gem in Dara O'Brien. And the face that launched the 60s, Twiggy. Yeah, you that sticking set. <laughs> <laughs> I was very thin, but I was very healthy. Parkinson, tonight, 10.15, ITV1. One more time. I'm gonna get you, it's a matter of fact. First, Jim and Elton got as good as New Country's Shania Twain. You can bet your bottom dollar in time, you're gonna be mine. Now I'll go cleaning windows too, and then I'm this bump. Steve Duncan cleaned up as the irrepressible George Formby. Now it's a job that just took me you in the cleaner you would be if you could see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. Nothing but a t-shirt on, I never felt so beautiful. Nora Critchley gave us that diva from Dallas, Jessica Simpson. is hoping for yet more audience votes for Will Young. And 
Claude Hopkins had it all as Whitney Houston. Audience, it's up to you. One of these five will become a finalist. It's best to sound alike, not best look alike. So please cast your votes now. We have a winner. Is it Shania Twain? George Formby? Jessica Simpson? Will Young? Or Whitney Houston? And the winner is... When you found out that you got the call from Stars, um, I heard that you you sat in your car for a whole half an hour because you were so shocked. Oh, well, I was ringing everybody up, my mum and my <laughs> and everybody else, yeah. And obviously the audience have voted you. So if you've got anything that you want to say to us? All of you, thank you very, very much. Aww. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Do you think you can do us a favour and um, sing one more time for us? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Zetworth as Will Young. finalists but you can still put your favorite from my remaining four into that final by picking up the phone and voting the runner-up with the most votes over the entire series will join Paul back here on the big night for Shania Twain call 0901 121 0101 or text Shania to 6338 for George Formby call 0901 121 0102 or text George to 6338 for Jessica Simpson, call 0901-121-0103 or text Jessica to 6338. And for Whitney Houston, call 0901-121-0104 or text Whitney to 6338. Calls cost 25p, a bit more from a mobile, and texts are 25p. Please ask permission from the bill payer and the lines for tonight's show close at midday Monday. It's your vote and only you can give one of those four a place in the final. But now, with a reminder of those numbers, it's tonight's guaranteed finalists in front of and behind the doors, Paul Duckworth as Will Young. <laughs>
Well done. So, Will Young will be joining all our previous winners live in the final. Our first winner, Laura Sutton as the diva, Celine Dion. Simon Hall as Mr Lycrid, Hawkins. Rob Lewis as drummer man, Phil Collins. And last week's winner, Paul Grant as Mr Soul, Luther Vandross. We'll be back in seven days for more mucking about in the makeup box with five more amazing sandalites. Until then, bless you. Good night. <laughs> Two officers and a particularly handsome gentleman, Richard Gear, meets the. The celebrity couples are out for a special Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in an Hour. Now the